Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Antonia Cornaro, expert underground space from Hamburg Engineering. Welcome to our stream on Metro Projects by Hamburg Engineering. I'm here live from the Hagerbach Test Gallery, and we're very happy that you're joining us for this 30-minute session. I have with me Laurence Delplace from Hamburg Engineering. She's Hi, our everyone. regional Sorry. manager for Brussels, Belgium, and France. And we have with us Rakesh Pandita, our managing director from India, who will be streamed in as well. Laurence and I are physically at the Hagerbach Test Gallery in the form of firefighting galleries where you see train wagons and we have a metro exhibit here as well for physical visitors. So today we will discuss our metro projects of Hamburg Engineering over, all over the world. And we're starting with Laurence. Um, Laurence, we have quite a few projects happening in Europe at the moment. Um, can you tell us overall what's going on? Yes, there is quite a lot going on at the moment in, uh, in Europe, but not only, not only in Europe, all around the world, also in North America and also in Asia. And this we will hear later from uh, Rakesh. But this is also normal. This, ex this expansion uh, of the cities is, uh, is driving the, the, the metro market uh, very much. Uh, there is a real need for sustainable uh, mobility solution, and one of the solution is metro. So coming back to Europe, Hamburg Engineering is involved in many countries, um, for example, Belgium, France, Sweden, Germany, Romania, uh, Spain, and Portugal. Very impressive, really uh, covering uh, all of Europe by now. Um, in terms of um, cu current projects, I know that when I joined Hamburg Engineering, which is a bit over 10 years ago, we were just signing the contract with Brussels Metro. And in fact, Laurence Delplace is originally Belgian, and we then relocated her from Switzerland to Belgium to be in charge of our project in, Me in Brussels Metro. Please tell us a bit about the project. What's going on there? So Brussels Metro is a uh quite an old project for Hamburg. We have been following it since eight years now. Uh, it's, it's a project we have the chance to, to, to follow from the very beginning. This means we are uh, working on it since the pre-feasibility study. We are integrated in a team uh, with a joint venture of uh, Sweco, TPF, Van Kampenort, and Arep. Uh, in the office of Sweco in Belgium. And it's a really, really great team. Uh, there is a really nice atmosphere to, in, in this team. It's really nice. So we are following this project from the very beginning, pre-feasibility study, and all the way up to the, to the job site supervision. So right now, we are uh, just in the phase of, of uh, tendering. We just finished uh, all, the, um, all the tender documents. Uh, we have one work package which is already in construction. This is a smaller work package, and we are now busy with the tenders for the, for the bigger work package, including um, one board tunnel of five kilometers long and uh, seven stations. Uh, I have to add that the stations are really complex due to the, to the, urban, uh, to the dense urban area uh, we are um, crossing uh, in, in the project. We are also planning a maintenance center and a depot so altogether, it's, it's a really nice project, really intense, a uh, lot of work for us, and it's, it's really nice for Umbrek to be involved in, in, in this kind of, this long project. Yeah, it's really cool. Very exciting indeed. Brussels, the capital of the European Commission. I, in fact, was born there, and recently, on my last visit pre-corona, when I had the opportunity to visit Laurence in Brussels, I was impressed by Brussels Metro and what is going on with the uh, planning stage of the extension. So fantastic that you can be there, Laurence, with your team and make sure that we drive this project forward jointly with our partners and with the client. So not far from Brussels, Laurence actually gets to go quite a bit, take the fast train, uh, the <laughs> TGV, and zip over to, I think, Paris. Exactly where we have the Grand Paris Express project with 
several contra contracts. Please tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, as I said before, there is a lot going on in Europe and at the moment mostly in Paris. We have in Paris a huge project which is called the Grand Paris Express, which includes, uh, as you can see on the slide, uh, 200 kilometers of uh, tunnel and 68 new stations. So it's really uh, the project uh, of, the, uh, of the moment in Paris. Uh, Hamburg has a chance to be involved in some of those projects. The first one we, we could acquire is the project of the Line 17, uh, the, lowest, uh, the work package 3, which is really in the north of Paris, uh, and it's crossing from north to south the, um, the airport of Charles de Gaulle, which is the biggest airport if in France. And so in France, crossing an airport with a tunnel, it's a uh, première. So uh, there is a lot of a big challenge with stakeholders, man management, and so on. We also are crossing under a uh, TGV line, uh, under RER, so it's really uh, full of, uh, of interface, but this makes really the project really interesting. Uh, at the moment, we are in uh, the detailed design phase. Um, we've been following the project since the, uh, the basic design, and we are going to be following it until the, super the job site supervision. Uh, so this was the first project uh, of Hamburg in Paris. But it's not the only one. Uh, a bit later on, we, we were lucky enough to be, to be part of, um, of a group of, to be like consult, consulting a, a contractor for the Line 16 work package one during the offer phase, during the tendering. Uh, we were uh, um, uh, responsible of the vulnerability analysis. And then later on, we were also in charge of the Line 18 work package one project for which we were um, um, supporting the, the contractor during the tendering for all the settlement, settlement analysis, TBM recommendation, uh, cross-passage uh, design, uh, and so on and so on. And uh, also last year we were involved in the line 16 loss 3 projects together with NGE, where we were in charge of the design uh, of the tunnels and also um, the settlement analysis in 3D of, of one of the stations. Um, lately, uh, we, um, we have the chance to be involved in a huge project, which is the Line 15. It's actually four work packages uh, on the east and on the west of Paris. And those four projects together amount for, um, for approximately 7 billion euros. So it's really a huge project. We have a team of approximately 10 persons working on those design and build uh, offers. Uh, so it's, it's really uh, fantastic for, for Amberg to be on it. This is really quite um, something yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. you've managed to build up in uh, Paris, a team of 10 now active on the Grand Paris Express project in several contracts, as you've seen in um, the overview and in what Laurence told you. But we are moving on, I think, in the European landscape over to Germany. Um, we've managed to, to do quite some work there in metro development. Um, which is the city that sticks out the most or where we've done the most work so far? Yes, for sure, Berlin. Berlin is, uh, is one of our flagship projects. It's a project we've been also following from the beginning to the end. Uh, so you can see it on the slide, one of the picture uh, of, the, of the starting shaft of the, of the TBM. Um, so yeah, the connection between uh, U5 and U55 is uh, one project Hamburg has been following. Uh, it's approximately a two, kilo two kilometers long uh, TBM tunnel, twin tunnels, so two smaller diameters, six meter, 6.5 meters each. And the tunnels have been um, boring uh, under very historical buildings, so it was really sensitive to settlements. And uh, one of the big uh, issues was that the, the, the cover was, was quite small, uh, only, only one diameter, so only six meters uh, uh, below the city. And the, the t TBMs were also crossing under the Spree Canal, uh, so two times. So this was really challenging for, for the team. Um, yes, but it's, it's, it's a big success, and the, um, the project is now in operation since last year. Indeed, Berlin, um, it's the gap, the closure um, of this uh, important link that was missing due to historic reason between Eastern and Western Germany. This link hadn't been built, and this is the closure of the gap, and Amberg Engineering was a main partner, um, lead designer for the client, 
and we've actually had quite a team on this project and we continue to have a strong presence in Germany um, with both our regional managers for, your, for uh, Germany residing there permanently. And I've seen the project itself when it was under construction. Like uh, Laurent said, very low overburden in the middle of this dense urban environment, underpassing the river and the uh, old historic Rathaus. Okay, but I think we're working even in other, now, other cities in Germany. Um, Munich, Laurence, what is happening there? So in Munich, we are at the moment uh, busy on the design of the extension of the M metro line U5, so in, in the city center of Munich. So as I said, it's, a, it's an extension. It's an ex extension of uh, approximately two kilometers. It's again two time uh, two board tunnel uh, of approximately seven, 7.5 meter diameter. So uh, it's, it's also a really nice project in a challenging geology with groundwater pressure. Uh, and um, and uh, what would I say? Uh, there is also a lot of historical uh, building uh, that we are crossing below. So lots of challenges. We are responsible for the old tunnel design, the cross passages design, and also the shafts. So yeah, we have a team of seven person working uh, on this project together with uh, ESP and uh, VTM. Wow, another one to look forward to once it's completed. And good luck, continued luck with, uh, with the project development. Um, we now want to hear a bit about our Indian projects. Um, we will get back to Laurence uh, in a while. Hi, Rakesh. This is Rakesh Pandita, our managing director from our Indian office, streamed in here via Teams. Hi, Rakesh. Hello, everybody. Hi. So we would like to hear a little bit what's going on in India in metro development. All the cities in India are growing massively, and there's enormous requirements for infrastructure, and especially mass transport infrastructure. So I'm pleased to say that Amberg Engineering India is very active in this market. Rakesh, what is, uh, what is going on in India overall in metro? So simply put it, a lot is happening over here. India is a developing country, and uh, uh, urban infra is, is the flavor of the <coughs> times. All the development which happened in the A towns is now moving to B and C towns. So we see a lot of uh, projects which are currently under execution, which are likely to be opened up in near future. So there is a lot of, lot of activity when it comes to urban transportation. And we are very happy to be a part of this uh, journey. Very exciting <coughs> indeed, Rakesh. And I think one of the major projects Amberg India is working on is Ahmedabad, a city that we don't know so well in Europe, but that is massively growing and has a large demand for metro. Please tell us about the Ahmedabad project. So, Ahmedabad uh, is in the western part of India, and uh, with this project, uh, Amber Engineering, for the first time in India, took the entire responsibility for not just tunnels, but also the stations. So we were fully responsible for detailed design of the, the station structures, underground uh, tunnels, uh, ramp sections, cut and cover. So whatever components were there in this project, uh, we were responsible for, for the entire scope of works. So in addition to the structural design, which is normally the flavor, in this we were also responsible for the architectural works. In this project, uh, we were working with the country's largest construction company, that is Larson and & Tubro. Uh, and uh, at the moment, we are almost 90% done with our scope. So this project uh, did have some challenges that uh, uh, this uh, uh, the, the board tunnel section passed underneath a functional railway line and also it passed under the, the old city of Ahmedabad so there were a lot of uh, structures which, uh, which were vulnerable, a lot of historical uh, uh, buildings on top but uh, very happy to state that our team did a fantastic job with this and uh, the project is now at an advanced stage and uh, <clears throat> hopefully things should, uh, we should see this project uh, up and running uh, very soon. 
so uh, basically this had got uh, about 4 kilometers of uh, alignment length and it had two stations good luck with that um i think um that's a really um important connection that you're creating here and it's wonderful that ambeg engineering india is um so um strongly involved in this project um i also would like to say that our indian office is based in gurgaon which is just near new delhi um i think we have a big project going on in delhi itself right rakesh can you tell us yeah. about it so it's it's not a very uh, a big project uh, it is uh, the the package is called uh, dc06 we are in this project working with uh, another major construction player which is hindustan construction company the alignment length in this project is about 2 km and this has got a 1.2 km of bore tunnel with one station a cut and cover section and a ramp and this is part of the phase 4 expansion of delhi metro as you know delhi metro is the largest metro network in india and now uh, we are entering into phase 4 of this expansion where there is a lot of activity which is going to happen <laughs> what was uh, uh, different about this project was that typically um, historically the works for uh, for the drawings and all used to be done in 2d so in this project uh, it was mandatory to go for bim and uh, as you know amber is one of the few companies who's uh, fully bim compliant as per market needs and we did deliver to this project or we are delivering this project fully from bim and there was uh, another additional requirement which came uh, when we started this contract was uh, that reinforcement detailing was to be done in bim and this was a mandatory condition we took up this challenge and we are very happy to state that uh, for the first time in underground metros in india the reinforcement detailing is being directly issued from the revit models and no 2d activity is performed for the good for construction stage so this is uh, 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 a good achievement for us i believe going forward what is happening is that uh, uh, we have a new requirement again that is to implement 4d bim solution on this project that is that we will be linking up the project planning with the bim models and then we'll have a real time update of the project progress and deliveries at, coming out from the models so this is another this is going to be another feather in our cap we are very excited about it it's a challenge but we take it up uh, in a positive manner and uh, to state uh, the status uh, currently we are about 60 to 70% done with our design scope and in next 2 uh, to 3 months we should be completing our design phase uh, that's it Wow. I can only say um continued success Rakesh you and your team on this important milestone and fantastic what you've achieved on a on a bim level here. Okay, um I need to um ask you also about another really big city in India, Mumbai. Who doesn't know Mumbai? Mumbai of course has metro and Mumbai of course is involved in in extending it. and constructing new lines i imagine is ambeg engineering india involved in mumbai metro and with which contracts rakesh yeah of course we are involved this was uh, the initiative uh, taken in 2016 when we decided to step into metros beyond tunnels till till 2015 16 we were only providing uh, tunnel solutions but with this project we got into a joint venture with the uh, stoop consultants we are the lead of this uh, joint venture and uh, the the scope comprised of both architectural and, and structural works for the for the entire alignment which had uh, ramp cut and cover sections bore tunnels stations everything quite a complex case and uh, in this uh, project we are working as detailed design consultants to um, lnt stack joint venture and uh, uh this has got three stations as i said uh, two stations mid c and seeps these are cut and cover stations but the third one was where our experience with natum design came into play and that was marolnaka station which is a <coughs> station uh, built using natum which has got two long platform tunnels uh, alongside the station body 
and so this this is a, a complex case which we we have delivered it had the project also had some interesting situations where we had to pass underneath uh, uh, huge uh, buildings with deep foundations we had to cross uh, below uh, an active elevated metro line we had to cross below some flyovers but uh, as i said uh, our team again fared quite well and we were very happy to state that uh, this was the package which out of seven packages in this in this entire line which achieved its design approvals ahead of others this was also the project we uh, we saw the first breakthrough of this uh, line 3 out of the many breakthroughs which happened subsequently package 7 had it first <clears throat> so uh, these are some highlights of this project and as of now we are almost 90% again done with our design activities project is uh, moving uh, into the construction phase and we hope to see uh, it uh, operational in in coming years <clears throat> that's the first project that we are involved in package 7 the second package is the uh, package 2 on the same line we are working as lead design checkers for package 2 and the contractor in this case is hcc again hindustan construction company and uh, we are uh, responsible for the review of structural works architectural works and also mep works so that uh, with these four projects i can say that we have made a successful entry although uh we are <coughs> still uh, we don't have a very uh, long list of projects but uh, all of these projects are quite interesting and uh, in a short span of time we'll we'll have very very strong credentials in this market and uh, th that makes me happy about it wow so that's about the projects from uh -huh. india i can imagine that that makes you happy rakesh that's quite an achievement on both contracts in mumbai and um I think your clients must be very happy and uh, hopefully your staff is happy to be working on these exciting projects. Do please also visit our virtual booth today where we've uploaded all our projects currently going on in metro all over Europe, all over India and all over the world for you to see in more detail what we do in all these places. Rakesh I will come back to you in a minute. Um or did you want to say something last last thing about Mumbai? No Mumbai. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So I want to now um switch back to Laurence and hear a little bit about you know we've <coughs> managed as Amberg Engineering to really develop our skills to develop our competencies to grow with our projects. and to really develop new solutions um for our clients i'm curious the industry is changing so much and there's so many requirements and demands on our urban centers on our urban populations on urban mobility where do you see that going in terms of metro tunneling uh, laurence is is there a lot of change happening what you see There is a lot of change happening and I think most of it also goes in direction of sustainable metro and transportation and in this direction we are uh, at the moment uh, for example um, analyzing analyzing the opportunity to implement a geothermy in the metro of Brussels see if it would be possible to use to reuse uh, the the energy of the train uh, in the inside the the segmental lining and to to warm the station also it would another possibility to, to would be to equip the the um, seg, the the, st the station walls with those uh, those sensors so this is one point At, in brussels we also uh, very much um uh, going into a green project in, in the way that we try to reuse the material uh to to make for example uh bricks of the inside the station so we we reuse uh, the the clay stone um all the stuff would be to, for example the the management of all the excavated ground uh we are really pushing towards um the use of uh fluvial transport instead of uh trucks so this is one point and uh, the other part of point of course is uh digitalization the use of beam on project and uh, for example also, for example also 3d geological modeling this is what we do on the metro in in paris and this is really really uh successful for us yes 
Wow, that's, I think that's we really can bring valuable contributions in that sense. And I think we can indeed really harness so much energy um, from the heat created in these metro tunnels that is now actually being wasted most of the time. And there's new solutions possible. And it's really great that Amberg Engineering is a driver for that and is involved in these kind of new ways of um, also coupling metro tunneling with harvesting energy sources, but also to further develop our digitalization and our digital models and our geo and 3D uh, modeling capabilities. So good job on that. Um, Rakesh, the future of metro tunneling in India, what do you have to say if I give you one minute to sum it up? So first thing is that uh, there is the design landscape is changing very rapidly. We have moved out from 2D production in last, in last two, three years to BIM models. And in last one year, we have moved from BIM models to reinforcement detailing from BIM models. And now we are moving from reinforcement detailing in BIM models to linking up the planning with the, the real execution for project monitoring and proper MIS. So this is a, a very rapid change which, is, which has happened and which is uh, now the order of the day. And we, we really would like to congratulate our clients like uh, Delhi Metro who have pushed us into this, us, when I say us, I mean the designers, into adopting these new technologies. It's a challenge, but uh, it changes the, the way we work and it is certainly a better way to work. So this is one sea change that we see in the design environment. And when it comes to what is happening around, well, as I said, India is growing. There, there are strong tailwinds to support uh, a decade of growth in urban infra. And we really look forward to moving in the same direction and uh, working on these uh, projects. Uh, currently, we are watching uh, the Delhi Metro phase for expansion very closely. And we'll be very happy to work on them. So that, that's uh, about it from India. Super, from India in a nutshell, um, how it will develop um, the coming years, the um, future of uh, Metro Transport. One last thing from Laurence. Um, I think um, we're involved in a sort of quite cutting edge project in France, in uh, Marseille, um, the Loop project, where we're really dealing with uh, mobility on demand which will really be the future. We will not all be uh, um, shuttling about in our own cars, and we will not only be shuttling in, in normal trains and metro trains. So what is the Loop project about, Laurence? And what is Amberg's role in this? So the Loop pro project is a mobility solution for a uh, place which are not that densely urbanized, but where the, the public transportation offer is not, uh, uh, not it's all developed, like it's the case in, uh, between Aix and Marseille. So uh, um, there is a, a, a whole project going on, but it's really in a very early phase. We are involved together with uh, GEST uh, Engineering and Vera, so, uh, an, an architect uh, office uh, in, in France. And this is really, as I said, as I mentioned, very early phase, but the idea would be to, to develop a 100 kilometer uh, long transportation uh, like scheme with, with, with tubes and uh, we would have self-driven electrical buses, small vehicles for up to 20 person uh, that would be circulating in those, in those tunnels on them and going f allowing the passenger to go from A to B where they want to go uh, really on them and really flexible. Wow, that's really exciting. Um, I think we've been able to give you an overview of the immense variety of projects that we're working on at Amberg Engineering in our metro, um, in various cities spanning the globe. Today, we've concentrated on the ones in Europe and in India. And I really want to thank our audience for participating, for joining us. If you have questions, we have an all-day virtual chat room. Please ask us. There's um, our Metro Experience staff on call to answer them. And I want to also tell you, go into our virtual booth and use the material we've provided. We've uh, recorded presentations on all these metro projects for you. And 
And I also want to really thank um, Rakesh for joining us from India today and to Laurence for coming from Brussels um, to the Hagerbach Test Gallery where we are live for you today. Thanks for joining. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cut.